Hi everyone, Sandy from Hobby Headquarters. Uh, and one of the most common questions I get is from, from beginning modelers or modelers who haven't done it for a while, and they're always asking, what's a great kit to start off with? And normally you try to pick out one kit or another, but this is a whole line of kits that Tamiya makes. These are their 48 scale kits. Uh, they're a little bit smaller, obviously, than 35th scale, but really, really simple to put together and usually only take about a day of actual construction. Uh, they have a small part count, their fit is very, very good, and then they usually have metal incorporated somewhere inside the kit to give it a little weight because it is such a small piece. Some of these older ones have a metal chassis, some of them have um, metal weights that go inside of them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a real quick build. Uh, it's not going to be any weathering or any detailing or anything. It's just going to be a quick build to show how these little kits go together and how quickly they go together. And we're going to be building today the new Type 10 from Tamiya. It's a brand new kit that just came out uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, very simple to put together. I'm going to do a basic paint job on it to show you guys how it looks. And just go from there. Just Like I said, it's just going to be a little five or six minute video just to show you how everything is. Uh, the tub of the vehicle is not a bathtub type tub. It's actually uh, individual pieces, but have a real strong fit, go together really, really well. A uh, little sanding and they're ready to click right on there. To me, it includes three heavy weights to put into the mi middle of the vehicle, and that is strictly for aesthetics. It's just to give the vehicle some, some heft to it when you pick it up when it's finally done. It doesn't add to any of the uh, rigidity or anything inside there. So it's, like I said, it's just strictly for, uh, for appeal when you pick it up. The track on this kit is link and length track and what that means is the entire top piece is one long continuous piece of track and then they give you individual pieces that will go around the drive sprocket and the return roller. Uh, my advice is when you're going ahead and doing this is to start wrapping the track, the little individual tracks around the drive sprocket and idler first and get them into the general shape and then put the top piece on because the first one we did this way and there was a little bit of a problem with fit at the very end when we went and did the other side and did just the opposite where we put those side pieces on and then dropped the top into place everything fit really really well and even though this is a 40a scale kit as you can see here in the pictures that the uh, top actually has the anti-skid molded into it it's a nice little feature adds a lot of detail to it so when we paint it you'll really be able to notice it didn't go into too much depth here on the build. This kit goes together like a dream, no fit problems at all, and very few parts, so no one should have any problems putting this kit together. The main thing is gonna be how we paint it.
So that's it. That's the quick build I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you how quick and easy that the, the Tamiya 40A scale kits go together. Uh, it's great if you want to have just some, you know, afternoon or weekend type build that you don't want to have a ton of parts. You just something nice that'll go on a desktop or anything like that. Just a great kit to start with. I also want to talk to you guys about, uh, late, look for later on in the week, I've started building the Leopard 2A6 from Tamiya. Uh, another nice one. This will go with our modern collection that we've started up building. And uh, keep in mind, I am still going to be working on the train dioramas pretty soon. I, the trains kind of got, I was doing so much of it for so long, I just had to take a break with it. So kind of cleanse the palette with doing some other type of armor. But we'll be back to those pretty soon. So I appreciate you watching as always, and please stay tuned because we have more videos coming. Thanks.